I love that movie, The Bucket List. But it's about two men dying and what they want to do before they die. I find that sad and depressing. They made a list of what they want to do before they die, and they lived it up. That's a positive thing. But they did it because they were dying. That's not positive, that's sad. Cindy, we're all going to die. It's how we live life that matters. Like, what's on your bucket list? Not thinking about dying. <laughs> the beauty of the bucket list is that it makes you realize how precious every moment is. It helps you to be grateful for the blessings. It makes you want to celebrate. That's how I feel when I drive by a cemetery. It's like the bucket list, like a profound reminder. Thank you for that intense explanation. So, dare I ask what's on your bucket list? Um, well, first I'm gonna go to Paris, and then Italy, because everybody who goes there goes back again and again. Then I'm gonna free all the chimpanzees and the beagle dogs too. All those animals they do experiments on in labs. Because let's face it, stem cell research, that's what's gonna cure disease. I'll be like 70, but I'll act like I need help with everything. They'll put me in a nursing home. It'll be great. Free laundry, food, help with my shower. I'll be good to go. Uh, hmm. I want to... Hmm. Come on. Think of a birthday cake with beautiful candles on it. You're blowing them all out for that incredible wish. What is that wish? I want to... to a vampire convention. <laughs> Do they have such a thing? Well, if they don't have it, then I'll just have to create it for all the crazies like me who are into vampires. <sighs> okay, get blood or get a blood test, Cindy. You're slightly obsessed with vampires. Come on, one more wish from the bucket list. I hate that name. I like the wish list more. It's a bucket list. Okay. Take assertiveness training. 